Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim Basco. I know it's been a while since I did my last review, but I'm definitely now ready to make some more quality content on a more consistent basis. So this video will be the first video in a series that I'm going to call Six Months In. In the series, I'll be reviewing some of the most popular peripherals on the market. Peripherals meaning keyboard, headphones, and mice, and amongst other things, and letting you know how well they perform after six months. I know that when I'm trying to buy something, I want it to last as long as it can, performing as well as it can, and I want it to perform as well as, like, as well as when I first bought it, right? And so I'm hoping this video will help provide the viewers some insight before they make their purchase. So without further ado, I bring to you the video review of the G502. I could be a rapper. Originally released in 2014, the Logitech G502 is the best mouse on the market, and it'll put you down $80. It comes with a perfect sensor suited for people with the fingertip grip, which is important to note, but I'll talk about it later. Let's talk some quick features. The left and right click are really nice and clicky, as they have individualized plates, so there's no warping and flexing of one piece of plastic, like on the Death Adder. It's also got really nice thumb buttons, on-the-fly DPI switching, which lets you choose from up to five. I only have three set. A sniper button for instantly switching to a user's set DPI, and a button behind the scroll wheel, which is just, you know, your normal clicking button. The mouse also has this infinite scroll wheel that can toggle on and off with a switch in front of the last button I was talking about. The G502 also comes with a bunch of weights, and you can put up to five in the mouse each weighing 3.6 grams. The mouse is already a little heavier than your average mouse, so keep that in mind when you're using these weights. So what's it like after six months of daily usage? Well, you can see the rubber grip has worn down from my fingertip grip. This is on the left side, and then again on the right side of the mouse. The sensor, however, is still perfect. There are no signs of acceleration, and its accuracy is still pinpoint, allowing you to get those headshots and get those first bloods on people. This mouse is honestly one of the best that I've ever used. It feels great in your hand if you're a fingertip user, and the rubberized grip texture makes it easy to pick up and put down. However, I don't really understand the sniper button, as I don't think anybody's thumb is that long. Other than that, it's a perfect daily driver, for me at least. The scroll wheel is awesome, and even comes in handy when you're browsing Reddit or just working on some other videos. But to touch on an earlier point, the mouse is really too narrow to comfortably fit a palm grip or a claw grip, unless your hands are tiny. I got lucky, I guess, that I have a fingertip grip and it works out. So really, with this mouse, it's fingertip grip or death. Other than that, I have no cons to this mouse. Everything I could say would be positive about it. So yeah, if you can, pick it up. Sometimes it goes on sale, so like 20 bucks, which is how I got mine. That was the review of the Logitech G502. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like and a subscribe. Tell me what you did like about it. If you didn't, tell me what you didn't like about it and what I can work on. I hope you guys stay tuned for the next episode of Six Months In, and thank you so much for watching.